Hello again everybody, I'm back. Today I will be showing you how to root your Samsung Fascinate. Uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get into your settings on your phone, go to your applications, development, and check your USB debug. Then you're gonna take the back of your phone off and pop the battery out. Make sure you downloaded all the files below in the description. Open up Odin on your PC. And then you're gonna take your USB factory cable and plug it into your phone while holding down on your volume key. This will put your phone into download mode. Make sure you do have the correct drivers installed or Odin will not pick it up. This is how you know Odin picked your phone up here. You're gonna click on PDA and you will be flashing clockwork mod on your phone today. This does put you into blue recovery. I've said this in my other videos, but stay away from this phone icon here. This will break your phone. Click start. This is a quick, quick procedure here. It will automatically turn your phone off. Unplug your USB cable. Put the battery back in your phone. <clears throat> Now we're going to boot into recovery and to do this we need to hold the power down or the power button and the volume down and volume up at the same time. What we're going to do is we're going to let the Samsung logo flash twice. Then you're going to let go. We are now into clockwork mod recovery. The first thing you're going to want to do is scroll down to wipe data factory reset. You navigate with the volume up and down and you select with the power button. Select yes. Now make sure you make sure you guys do this. It's called a dirty flash if you don't and it can cause problems with your phone. It can brick. It can uh, make it have bugs, other problems like that. Next, we're gonna navigate down to wipe cache partition. Select it with your power button. Hit yes. Then we're gonna navigate to advanced. You're going to wipe your Delvet cache. Now you're going to back out. You can do that two ways. You can either go down here to back out or you can use the soft menu key on the bottom of your phone there. You're going to navigate to install zip from SD card. This will be one of the files I had you guys transfer to the root of your SD card. You're going to choose your zip from your SD card. And you're going to navigate to Team Haxon. This is Ice Cream Sandwich. Select yes. This will automatically reboot your phone. This is a good ROM to uh, start out with to um, update to other ROMs, which I will be doing. I will be uh, installing Signage in Mod 7. You can do so as well if you don't like this ROM. So all in all, you will be downloading and putting your drivers on your PC, your clockwork mod, and then on the root of your SD card, you will be putting two files. You will be putting your uh, your ice cream sandwich by Team Haxing and the G apps file update. And I will explain that to you in a second here.
this is simple guys you follow my step-by-step -step directions under under the uh, video here and you you can't go wrong nothing to it see the ice cream sandwich boot animation I do like that We're going to let this boot up here for a couple minutes. Wait for this to boot up. There are other ways to boot the uh, Fastnate. Um, I did have Clockwork Mod 2.5 before this. It does put you into a red recovery. Um, I had the Voodoo Lag Fix kernel. I did like it, but um, it was more of a stock ROM, so it wouldn't let me update or change my boot animations. I like to customize my phones a little bit more. It is a good ROM, however. There is no lag on it. Very few glitches. All right, we are rooted here. Let this completely uh, boot up here. Now, uh, we're going to select the. Uh, we're going to go into the app drawer here. You're going to notice that there is no Google Play Store, but we're about to fix that. Um, if you do notice right here, we have the super user application there. That's how you know you're rooted. So we're going to back out of this. We're going to power down. We're going to go back into recovery. However, do not use the three finger method that I just taught you. Uh, that can cause glitches in your phone or potentially brick it. Uh, we have different options now. You reboot, reboot into recovery and hit OK. We are about to flash the G apps file update. This is simple. This time we will not be wiping our Delvet cache, cache partition, nor our data. All we do from here is we navigate to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card and go to the other file that I had you put on the root of your SD card. That will be the G apps ICS. 20120429. Select to install. Yes. You're going to want to navigate back out and reboot we're going to let this boot up here this is what your phone will look like and do when it's uh, upgrading alright guys we're going to unlock this we're going to go to our app drawer and there is your google play store app uh, thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I will respond. Take care. Until next time, guys.